This is a brief tutorial demonstrating how to use Microsoft Word, the math type plugin for Microsoft Word, and the Duxbury Braille Translator to produce math documents for your students. We'll cover the basics of inserting math into a Word document and translating it to Braille. The first thing you'll need to do is install the math type program from the Wirus website. This is the Wirus website. I'll link it below the video. Let me download the math type plugin to your computer. Run the installer going through all the installation steps following the wizard. Once you've completed that, open up Microsoft Word. When you have Word open, you'll notice that a new tab has been added to your toolbar called Math Type. If you see this math type tab on your toolbar, you'll know you've successfully installed math type on your computer and you're ready to get started. I also recommend you download the handout that goes with this video before getting started so that you can print it out or open it up on another on your screen and follow along. All the steps we're going to cover are written in the handout. The handout looks something like this. So go ahead and click on that now below the video to download it and print it out or open it up so you can use these steps to follow along. Now let's get started by opening up Microsoft Word. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to give my document a title. And this can be anything. Uh, this isn't in the directions, but let's just call it Homework Assignment 1. Skip a line and I'll put some directions for the student. Solve the below math problems. Show all work to receive full credits. All right, and I'll skip another line there. So now I'm ready to start entering my math. So as it says in the handout, to enter math in a Word document, okay, step one. Type the problem number followed by a space. So I'm going to type one period space. Okay. Number two, make sure your cursor is located where you want the math to be inserted. Well, in this case, I'm right where I want it to be. So that's good. Step three, on the word ribbon, look for the math type tab. Okay. So I'm going to go back up to my word ribbon and I'm going to find math type. Step four, click the inline equation button. Okay, and you'll see right now I'm on the insert inline equation. If you hover your mouse pointer over the different pictures, it'll tell you what each button does. We want the one that says inline equation. So I'm going to click or using the keyboard, press enter on that icon. Okay, the math type window opens. And you'll see this window. Um, it is, we're at step five in the handout, and I just accidentally moved myself out of alignment here. It says, type your math. And when you talk about typing your math, if it's a symbol on the keyboard, you use that symbol on the keyboard. So let's start with something simple. Let's do 10, okay, plus, the plus sign is on the keyboard. I do shift equals to get a plus sign. 10 plus, let's say, 2, 5, 25, that's on the keyboard and the equal sign I want now. That's also on the keyboard. Okay, so all of those things I typed right on my keyboard. I did not use any spaces. Uh, math type does not want you to use spaces. Okay, and you'll see these in the notes in the handout. Um, if you do need to use symbols, which we're gonna do in our next problem, we're gonna use the uh, symbol palettes that are up above this math type uh, area where we type in our equation. As a blind person, I can't use those symbol palettes with the mouse. I'll be showing you some keyboard hotkeys to insert some of those symbols in math type, but you can click on the symbols in those palettes to insert them into your equations. Okay, so I've got this equation in. So I'm on step C. It says, when finished typing the problem, click the X in the upper right hand corner of the math type window. So I'm going to use the hotkey for that. You can click the X, Alt F4 and POW, okay? Number one, our first problem is inserted into the Word document. 
Now, if I hit my end key on the keyboard or you click after that problem, put your cursor after that problem and then hit enter, it'll go to number two. So we're ready to insert our next problem, okay? So let's go ahead and try that again. So I'm just gonna repeat those steps one more time to make sure we can practice inserting a math problem. So I'm gonna go up to the ribbon. I'm gonna to go to the math type tab. I'm gonna pick insert equation in line. My math type window opens. So now I'm ready to insert my next problem. Now, when I insert this problem, uh, I'm going to try to do something a little more complicated. Let's go ahead and insert some fractions, okay? So I'm going to write, let's say, um, two, and then we'll say a fraction. So to insert a fraction uh, division or dividing line, I'm going to press the hotkey control F, and I'm going to say insert my numerator. I'm going to do uh, one, and then I'm going to hit the down arrow to move to the bottom of that fraction. I'll insert my denominator, which will say four. So we've got one-fourth. Okay, and then I'm going to hit a right arrow to move out of the fraction. Let's do a plus sign here. So that's on my keyboard. I do shift equals to get the plus. All right, and I'll enter, um, how about four? Okay, and I'll do another fraction. And let's time, let's this time, let's say two is my numerator. And let's go ahead and hit the down arrow to insert our denominator and put four. Okay, I'm going to hit a right arrow to move out of that fraction, and I'm going to type my equal sign on the keyboard. All right, so I've got that problem entered. I'm just going to go ahead and click that right um, X in the upper right-hand corner now. It's going to close that window, and it's going to insert that problem right back into my Word document. Okay, I'm going to go to the end of that line, and I'm going to make sure my cursor's there, press Enter, and I'm ready to insert problem number three. I'm going to put a space so that I have a space between my problem number and the actual math. And I'm going to go back up and I'm going to do this one more time just to practice. I'm going to go up to the math type tab on the ribbon, pick insert equation in line. My math type window opens. This time, let's try inserting something using superscripts. Okay, so superscript is when you see uh, like x to the power of two, x to the power of three. So let's go ahead and write 2x. Okay, I'm writing that on my keyboard. And I'm going to use the hotkey to insert a superscript. You can look in the symbol palettes up above here and find the superscript symbol if you want to do it with the mouse. Um, there is a tutorial I'm going to link below this video where uh, they also go into great detail in showing you how to use the symbols above the um, math entry area in this math type window. I highly recommend like watching at least the first two videos to see how they're clicking on those symbols and inserting them. It'll give you a good idea of how that works um, instead of just using the hotkeys um, uh, the way I am as a blind person using the hotkeys. All right, so I'm going to use the hotkey to insert a superscript again, which is uh, control H. And it, think of H for the superscripts because it's kind of pointing up kind of like a little up arrow. So I'll do control H and I'm going to, and you can see how the, the focus moves up above the X. I'm going to put the number two in there and I'll hit my right arrow to get out of the superscript. And then now I'm going to insert something on the keyboard again. I'm going to look for the plus symbol. So that's shift equals. So I've got plus, let's say, um, let's do eight X. Okay. And then I'll do a minus, I don't know, let's say 10. And then we'll do an equal sign again. That's on the keyboard. All right, so we've inserted all of those uh, values. I'm just going to close this window. You can click the X, okay? And that inserts our problem back into the document. Now, if you need to edit one of the problems because you made a mistake or you want to go back and make a change, it's very simple. It's step six in our handout. And step six says to edit an existing problem, we just need to right-click on that problem. So I'm going to do that now. With the keyboard, I'm going to do Shift F10. And I can go to where it says equation object, open. And you'll see that it reopens that equation in the math type editor. I'm gonna to go to the beginning of that equation, okay? And where we have the 50, let's say that needed to be 60. So I'll delete the five and I'll go ahead and put in a six. And then when I hit the X to close that window, okay, it'll update our Word document. So our problem number one says 60 plus 25. And that's all you need to do to edit. You just go to the problem, 
follow those steps in step number six, and you can edit uh, each problem. So once we've entered all of our math, okay, and our Word document is ready, we're gonna go ahead and make sure we finish editing and save our document. Okay, so I've already saved this, uh, I think once, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it again. So I will bring up the file save screen. Okay, and my computer's thinking. There it goes, save as, and it says it's gonna save it as a Word document. It says it's gonna call it homework assignment one. So that's fine, I'm just gonna click okay. All right, and it's saved. So now our next step is to open the document in Duxbury, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm moving on to step seven, which is open the DBT icon on my desktop. Okay, so I'm opening DBT. And once Duxbury opens, which it always takes a second, okay, I'm going to go to File, Open. So this is step eight. And I'll want to browse to where I have my document saved, okay? So let's look for my document. Let's see if we can find homework. There's my homework assignment one. Now, this is very important, okay? Step 10, the import file screen will appear, okay? Make sure you have selected UEB BANA with Nemeth as your template. You can see here in my template list, UEB BANA with Nemeth is selected. If it's not on yours, go ahead and select that to make sure that when you import this document, you'll get UEB Braille with Nemeth Math. And I'm gonna go ahead and say, okay. Okay, it's gonna come in. Now it's gonna look strange. So that's why uh, step 11, we click the OK button, we imported the file. Step 12, don't worry, okay? The math is not gonna look correct in print. So we're gonna just go to step 13 in the handout where it says file. We're gonna go to translate, all right? And voila, okay, our print math is turned into Braille with Nemeth, okay? So step 14, the math should now be displayed correctly, okay, with Nemeth. And you can see when you look at this document, okay, if I go up to the top, you can see that I have UEB Braille with contractions up at the top and home and the word homework, et cetera, okay? And then I have my directions. And when I go down to say problem number one, you can see that before the beginning of my first problem, you'll see problem number one, the problem is in UEB the number, but then after that, you'll see the Nemeth begin indicator, which is 456SH sign, okay? Then you'll see the Nemeth problem with the dropped numbers. So you'll see the 60 plus 25, the Nemeth equals sign, okay? And then you'll see the close Nemeth indicator, which is the 456WH uh, sign. So 456, one, five, six. Okay, so what it's doing in this instance, we did a very simple document. Each individual problem is going to be wrapped in Nemeth begin and end indicators. Okay, all the way down. So we've got our document here. If you needed to do any adjustments, remember uh, like changing spacing, you can space things over or make any corrections to the Braille that you might have missed in Word. Remember, you have to use six key entry here. You have to pretend that your computer keyboard is a Braille keyboard you can't type using normal typing here. You have to pretend it's Braille and you're on a Perkins uh, Braille writer. All right, so now we're on to embossing the document, which is like embossing any other document. We'll just go up to file, okay? And we'll pick emboss, all right? Make sure that you have the right um, embosser selected, which should just be your standard embosser and click okay. And it'll come out of your embosser. So that is the basics of uh, embossing a document. Um, the only other things I'd want to cover here are in your handout. There's a short list of some of the most common shortcut keys you're going to want to use possibly while you're entering math and math type. Okay. And then there's also a link again to the tutorial on math types website where they're going to give you a better example of how to use some of those symbol palettes. And again, I strongly encourage you to go through those first couple video tutorial videos to get comfortable with uh, using the symbols in math type. So, Come back, watch the second video, and we'll get a little bit more involved with how we format the documents uh, in Word so that we get nice, clean Braille uh, going forward. Thanks for watching.